In software release 38.12, the restocking workflow has changed. I will be reviewing the changes in this video. If you want to know what software version you are currently running on your Cubex, click the little information button in the top right of the login screen. This will show you your current version. In 38.12, if you're using the backstock workflow, you will now see a yellow banner at the bottom of the login screen letting you know if there are active stock items that are at or below minimum. When you log in and select the restock button, the PO will then generate for backstock items. First thing to do is log into your Cubex. You can either use your fingerprint or you can use your manual login credential. If you have restocking privileges, you will see the restock button at the bottom of the screen. Click restock. This is the restock screen. As you can see, there are now four tabs for the different types of restock. The first tab is for a scheduled restock. This is when a supplier purchase order is waiting to be replenished. This is for items that either do not have a backstock or for the replenishment of the backstock inventory. Scheduled restock purchase orders are set up in my key link under the purchasing tab. The next tab is for supplemental restock. This is used when you will be restocking outside of a purchase order. The backstock same cabinet tab is when you have a backstock of medications in the same cabinet as the active stock of those same medications. And finally, the backstock different cabinet tab is when your backstock inventory is in one Cubex cabinet and the active stock is in another Cubex cabinet. Let's get started with a scheduled restock. As you can see, I have a supplier purchase order that generated and now needs to be restocked. I will select the purchase order, click next, and I will be brought to the purchase order screen, which will show me what items need to be restocked. I'm going to select both items, hit restock, and now Cubex is going to take me through each item one by one to restock. It's going to show me what my max is for this bin, it's going to show me what my current quantity on hand is, and I do have the opportunity to do a cycle count and change the on hand quantity if it's different than what Cubex thinks. And then I will also be restocking 500 tablets. I'm going to also update my expiration date. I am restocking 500 tabs, so once I've done all of that, I'm going to close my QB, close my drawer, hit restock quantity. And now I'll be taken to the next item on the list. Again, I have the quantity on hand. I can do a cycle count and change it if I need to. I'm restocking 200 tablets or two bottles, and I'm going to update the expiration date. Once I've done all of that, I'm going to close my QB lid, close my drawer, hit restock quantity, and now I'm taken back to the purchase order screen to confirm under the status column that I did in fact restock both of these items. Now let's take a look at a supplemental restock. I'll hit the home button, hit restock again, and this time notice that my purchase order did disappear because I restocked it. So now I'm going to click on supplemental restock, which gives me a list of everything that's assigned in this cabinet. I'm gonna use my search bar. I'm gonna look for carprofen, restock this one, and I hit next. Since it's not on a purchase order, I have to tell Cubex how much I'm going to be replenishing. I'm going to replenish one bottle. In this case, it's 180 tabs. I hit restock items. Cubex is going to open that area. And again, I have my quantity on hand, the quantity found. I could do a quick cycle count if what I find is different. I'm going to be just restocking one bottle. I'm restocking 180 tabs. I double check that the soonest expiration date is in fact 7-6-2025, and that's the case. So now I'm going to put the bottle into the QB. I'm gonna close the QB lid, close the drawer, and hit next. And once again, I'm taken back to my restock confirmation screen, and the status is green showing that I did in fact restock this carpet. Now let's take a look at a backstock restock. I'm going to click on the restock button. We're going to click on backstock same cabinet. And I do have a purchase order sitting here, which means that I need to replenish some active stock from my back stock. So I'm going to select this, hit next. It's going to take me to the purchase order screen to show me how much I need to replenish. I'm going to select it, hit transfer item. Because this is a controlled substance, I do have witness turned on for restocking. 
And now I'm going to be taken to my back stock drawer. I'm going to be replenishing 40 mils or four bottles. So I'm going to check these four bottles, the next containers in the sequence. Now I've removed those four bottles. I'm going to confirm that the numbers on the four bottles in my hand match 19 through 22. Once I've removed the bottles, I'm going to shut the matrix drawer and hit next. And again, it is diazepam, so I have witness turned on. And so now the four bottles that I just removed from back stock have now been put into my active stock. I have already entered in the container, lot number, expiration date, etc. Put the bottles into the QB. I'm going to close the QB lid, close the drawer, and hit restock quantity. And now I'm taken back to my confirmation screen to show that I did, in fact, replenish 40 mils of diazepam into my active stock from back stock. Now let's walk through what a transfer between two different Cubex cabinets would look like. So from this restock, we'll hit home, we'll hit restock. This time we will select back stock, different cabinet. Now I don't have a different cabinet in my system, but if I did and there was a purchase order generated, it would be sitting here. And the only difference between back stock, different cabinet and back stock, same cabinet is that in the same cabinet, it took me to the back stock, had me remove the bottles. Then it had me go directly to the active stock and replenish the bottles. With a different cabinet, I would click on the purchase order, go through the process of destocking the bottles out of my back stock matrix drawer. Then when I exit out from this cabinet, when I go to the other cabinet and I log in and I click restock and I hit back stock different cabinet, that purchase order is going to be sitting here. It's going to have me replenish those items into the active stock of that cabinet. And that's the different types of restock we have in Cubex.